Gentlemen, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at this, the Momentum Atlas 38mm Field Watch. I ordered this directly from Momentum Watches in Canada. Shipping was reasonable. The price probably not as low as I would have liked but what are you gonna do if you want something you gotta pay what they're asking uh, it has a sapphire crystal which is an upgrade I didn't mind paying the extra because I want this to last and not have the lens get all scratched up in a short amount of time it's got a Swiss movement in it screw down crown one of the features I really wanted so when you pull that out, the watch will stop and start again when you push the crown in. So you can set it to exact time, screw the crown back down, it's waterproof. 100 meters, which isn't a lot, but I'm probably not gonna be in the water with this. The rubber strap is really nice. It's got some faux stitching on the front. Uh, made in Italy, smells like vanilla, it's awesome. Here's how it looks on my seven inch wrist, seven to seven and a quarter, right around there. The only thing that might be an issue is that clasp. It is gonna scratch if you're using a mouse or working at a desk. First thing I wanted to do was upgrade the strap. Maybe not upgrade, but just add a different NATO type strap. I ordered this from Haviston. Quality is very nice. It's really soft. It's not stiff like some of them can be. I ordered this in the brushed aluminum. Well, I don't know if it's aluminum. Might be stainless actually. You can get them in shiny chrome or black. And it's a single layer NATO. This is double just for this keeper to slide. But the rest of it is only single layer where the watch goes so it doesn't sit so high off your wrist. I've had this on the watch almost exclusively since I bought it, but I like having the rubber one if I am going to be around water, whether it's fishing or anywhere near the water, I'm going to put the rubber one back on it. This will probably be with me on the trail while hiking. And again, like I said, on the boat while fishing. The only negative I've found is the loom looks great but as you can see just after a few minutes it fades right out to barely anything now it'll stay slightly illuminated for a long time but you're only going to see it if it's in complete darkness it would still be glowing a little bit but i really like the looks i like the construction it's a keeper <laughs> 